So yeah, I added Windows 11 to it, but I didn't just do that. I added, um, like I kept saying, dual boot. I actually put Prime OS on instead of regular x86 just because I wanted to try it out. The, um, I don't know, it's, I'm torn between the two of them. Prime OS is easier to install for dual boot because you literally just download it directly from their website. But here, I'll, uh, I'll show you Windows 11 real quick. The value of this tablet lies, though, in the versatility between the two of those. Because you can go from this to that. Like it's, it's not a great laptop, not even really a good laptop anymore. But it's small, it's portable. It could be a tablet at the same time. It's not really, it, but it is a great Android tablet if you if you use it for Android still. It's um, here let me get in the Windows. If you use it for Android, it uh, it still rocks. The workaround with Windows 11, getting it to work. Um, so because of the TPM and the secure boot um, that's what causes the Venue 11 not to be able to um, upgrade to Windows 11 so I, I googled I was like you know what there has to be some type of work on that I could do to get there so what it ended up being um, I went into registry edit and I think it was like a lab create or something like that and I literally told the tablet when it boots to not look for the TPM and not look for secure boot. So basically I, I kind of like uh, uh, chopped its ears off, you know, made it so it didn't know what to look for. Uh, it's like a detour, you know, the roadblock is detour around it. Um, the first day or two it was, it, um, it worked like shit, absolute shit. Um, updates were like struggling they were <laughs> some of them were just not installing at all they were just failing um when i did it too i did a full uh i, I got rid of everything got rid of all files i was like, if this is gonna work it's only gonna work if i get rid of everything so i did um and it took like two days worth of tweaking and editing and you know getting rid of background apps and stuff like that to it actually did get to a point where it worked and now it works like amazingly well um there's no stuttering at all i haven't had any much throttling at all either um i actually took i actually took the back uh in order to create more airflow i actually took the um the actual back cover out the main cover and because i go into the back of this thing so often uh, this actually works out better I use uh, like a armor thing as the actual back plate itself and um, it doesn't get nearly as hot that little bit of buffer is just enough to, uh, to keep out the, um, the heat you just gotta watch out for the little wires and shit that are in there I've taken this damn tablet apart and put it back together so many times. It's actually two different Dell venues hooked up in the same one. But yeah, it worked worked out good. The versatility between the Android and the uh, Windows. That's what really set it off. 